So some of you say, well, you know, how, what's the growth of the church look like? Because here's what we believe. We believe that when you f- are faithful in your giving, not leftovers to God, not like here's something and you crumble up the, you know, crumble up the dollar bill and throw the dollar bill to God. Not like, no, no, like faithful giving. That here's what we believe, that you have peace in your life, growth in the church happens, and impact in the community happens. All of those things you can see happening in the church, right? So sometimes we see that and we're like, well, what does growth in the church really do? Like, how does, that, how does that work? Sometimes people, this is cool, sometimes people exhaust every resource they have and figure out, I want to figure out how to be a part of the growth of the church. How can I, how can I help grow the church? Well, your giving does that. Your giving is, is, is huge for that. And I could talk about it, go round and round. Luke 14, Jesus is saying, seriously, he's saying, have a heart that would give everything. And sometimes that's in, in what we pass by the offering baskets in the back, and we're like, you know, I'm going to give, I'm going to give exactly what I should give to you, God, out of faithfulness. And then sometimes it's so creative and cool that I have to share it, right? Sometimes it's in a way where a, a gentleman says, you know what, I want more families to come to our church and to have a good time when they come. I want more families to come, not just on a Sunday, but maybe just on an evening or an early morning and come out and spend time here and fish. And so a a, a guy decides that he wants to put a worm farm by the pond. How cool is that? So so that, so that, yeah, you you can clap, you can give a good, yeah, that's cool. Some of you ladies are like, I'll never dig in that thing. That's, that's cool for them. No, it's great. It's amazing for families and kids and anybody who says, let's go fishing. Let's just go out right now. Let's go out right now and let's dig for our worms. That's, that's fun. That's a, that's a fun experience. And I saw the picture yesterday, yesterday of these two guys that were out here putting this together. I mean, that is just goofy looking all together, but man, I, you know how much love I have for them because it tells the story of the growth in the church. That through somebody's giving that kept the church going and the lights on and the staffing to happen and the follow-up to happen, families came and stayed and then they were changed and now they're impacting the kingdom of God with worms. (laughs) Is that cool? That's cool, right? You're like, give us the normal giving talk. No, that's not normal. A worm farm is awesome, and that's what we give to faithfully. I pray for you that you would extend yourself this morning in faith to God in your giving. Not just leftovers, but God, this is the first of what we're doing, that you may bless the rest. All right, let's pray. God, thank you for those who are faithful in their giving today that, God, are not giving out of their leftovers today, but are giving out of their first to see growth in your church. Thank you for... Thank you for the heart of Manny and Eddie to put a worm farm, the vision of that, so that other families could always come out and fish and have a good time. God, thank you so much for that. Thank you that someone's going to come to know Jesus because a little worm in that little square thing up there. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.